About half a billion dollars will be spent on infrastructure projects across the state. That money is coming from capital outlay funds where lawmakers get a chance to help jumpstart project both big and small. Here's News 13's Rachel Knapp with some of the big ticket items. Rachel. Jackie, lawmakers say for some communities, it's tough to get the money to fix a bridge or a road, and capital outlay funds help with those needed projects. From improving broadband and road projects, even addressing abandoned oil and gas wells and forest thinning for wildfire protection, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham approved $511 million in capital outlay requests for projects across the state. New Mexico, unlike most states or perhaps any other states, allows legislators, individual legislators, to allocate a certain amount of money. So there's a big capital outlay pot and it gets divided up different ways. This so-called pork money comes from three sources, geo bonds, severance tax bonds, and non-recurring general fund revenues. The amounts vary each year depending on the economy, but state lawmakers get to funnel it directly into their communities. The logic behind it is that we know, in theory, uh, what our community needs and what kind of projects uh, are most critical. For example, this year, some lawmakers use their money for local economic development projects, like making improvements in downtown Main Street districts and homeless shelters. Some money was earmarked for schools to improve ventilation and security. One of the big ticket items this year was allocating $4.9 million towards a new multi-use event center and soccer stadium in Albuquerque. Lawmakers say capital outlay funding helps with projects both big and small. And I have communities in my district, I have four traditional land grant communities that don't have another source of income. So if they want money for a park or a fire station or the water system, they come to me because they, they don't get a share of the property taxes. Overall, lawmakers say these funds could help with fixing issues that need immediate attention. If you got a bridge about to wash out, you need to fix it. Sometimes counties or cities don't have the money to do it. So capital outlay is very valuable. But not every request was approved. In the governor's message, she says she vetoed a little more than $6 million worth in requests because some of those projects lack proper planning or are not ready to move forward. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rachel. And for the first time, the public will finally be able to see where each lawmaker allocated their capital outlay funds. This follows a 2019 Larry Barker investigation on the lack of transparency for capital outlay spending. Lawmakers passed a bill this session, which will now let people search capital outlay spending made by each lawmaker. And lawmakers say that search engine should be up on the legislature's website later this month.